What are the different airflow systems used in a clean room design? There are basically three different air delivery systems in clean rooms. They're, they go as pressurized plenum, ducted supply and ducted return, and ducted supply and open return. Now, a brief synopsis of all those three is a pressurized plenum means you essentially you pump the air into the plenum and then push it through the filters and down into the clean room. With a ducted supply and ducted return, you're doing just that. You're ducting the air delivered to the clean room and then you're ducting the air back out of the clean room. Now that design is prevalent in a pharmaceutical type arrangement where you have to control the air. Then the most efficient from a cost and operation standpoint is what they call ducted supply and open return. So you duct the air delivery to the clean room, but you let the air just flow into an open return, which is essentially a return air plenum. Now once you've decided what type of air delivery system is the best for you, and that's oftentimes influenced by the type of uh, industry that you're serving, but then, you, then that dictates to some extent what kind of wall system that you utilize. When you've got a ducted supply and ducted return type system, you don't care about what the return air plenum wall is because there's ductwork that's going to carry the air back to the air handler. Whereas with a pressurized plenum or a ducted supply and open return, the, the surface of the return air path of the air in, is influenced because you've got to make sure that that's not generating contamination. So how you pick that air system, as an example, with a ducted supply and an open return, you're going to have to create what they call a return air plenum over the clean room. So you're going to have to bring the clean room walls up past the ceiling, and you're going to have to bring them up to a point by which you can create a plenum or, or create a controlled environment. So oftentimes you have to use uh, the clean line system so that you have a structurally supported plenum cap which is part of, integral and part of the system.